Hi everybody, um, another short video here about my Interceptor 650. Um, I'm, the video is about the EVAP system, which is a system for capturing vapour out of the fuel tank breather. Um, I'm absorbing it into a charcoal cartridge and then a purge valve, electrically operated, connected to the engine management system, periodically is supposed to open and the manifolds can then suck the vapour from the charcoal cartridge that lives under the bike and burn it. Now this is all to save um, an infinitesimally small amount of pollution that you get from just an open breather on a fuel tank, as motorcycles have had for about 110 years or more. So, in my opinion, it's a bit of a daft system. <clears throat> it saves infinitesimally small amounts of pollution, which is nothing compared to even one Boeing 747 taking off from Heathrow, or ditching kerosene as it's in the uh, stack waiting to land. You know, it's just nonsense inflicting that on a motorcycle, in my opinion. No doubt somebody will disagree. But I decided to remove it using an EVAP delete kit, which is effectively a small plug that replaces the purge valve and effectively tells the ECU that there's nothing wrong. And this is the actual system that I've now removed from the bike. This is a charcoal cartridge. That is the purge valve. And as you can see on the purge valve, there's a connector there to connect to the wiring harness. And this pipe goes to the inlet manifolds, one on either side. So effectively, fuel comes out of the tank, which connects to this middle nozzle there. You can see it says tank. So that's from the tank. The vapour goes into here, and then every so often, the purge valve opens and allows the manifolds to suck the stuff out of here. This cartridge is supposed to sound um, like a um, maraca. You know, you're supposed to be able to hear the, the charcoal. Well, you can't. If you overfill the tank, according to the manual, and there isn't really a definition of what that is, you know, how far, how far do you fill it? But if you do overfill it, it would, fuel will go down the breather pipe into that cartridge and fill it with fuel. Now, that's exactly what's happened with mine. This cartridge I've removed, if I shake it, you can see the fuel. Look. That's petrol. See? Petrol coming out of it. That's certainly not vapour. My bike's done 5,000 miles. And it's done that already. So, to me, that is just a liability. The, the purge system has obviously not worked. Or, alternatively, I've overfilled the tank. Which, you know, I've never filled it to the brim. So fuel sloshing around in it has gone down the breather pipe and into this thing. So I bought the kit and I've removed it. This is where it used to live, under there. If you look at your own bike, you'll see it. And if you look on the inlet manifolds, just here, the kit includes two of these um, little bungs, effectively. They sit on top of the, the inlet stubs that these connect to. So there's, there's one either side and then the trickiest part of this, if you read the manual, it says that you have to remove the side panels, the seat, the ECU, the rear mudguard, um, the inner mudguard, all sorts, you know, it seems a bit insane really. So in actual fact, I tried doing it yesterday, last night, and gave up and put it back together. I just couldn't get at the damn valve. However, I discovered tonight the way to do it, so I'd like to share that with you, if you're interested. So, what you do, the purge valve lives in there, and there's a lug off the battery tray underneath, and the purge valve slots onto this lug. Now, what you do to get at it is you remove this left-hand side panel and then remove the sprocket cover. And that's the critical bit, which I didn't do last night when I had to put it all back together again. So you remove the sprocket cover and it gives you the space here. 
to get in a combination of through here and in, in there and you can get at the valve. And with a pair of pliers, long nose pliers and faffing about with long screwdrivers, you can actually, the connector's a pane that goes into the purge valve. It's a waterproof connector with a little yellow gasket thing around it and clips and all sorts of pain. However, if you persevere, you'll be able to pull that plug out of the purge valve. So at that point, all you do then is, I pulled the wire up from the wire and harness that would have gone to the purge valve, and it lives under here. It's, just, it's long enough to go in there and cable tie it with the little plug on the end of it. Where it would have, the orientation um, is, is this. So when it sits on the bike, it sits like that. So when you get in to there and you take your chain, uh, your sprocket cover off, you will see it like that. Look for this clip, that, that's how I saw it. And that's, that, that fits on the lug under the battery tray. So once you pull that plug out, you've got sufficient wire on the harness to move it up to here. You just pull it through. Now at that point then, it's a piece of cake after that. You just go and you remove all your pipes off this thing. I've put them all back on just for the purposes of showing how it fits. Um, you remove your canister and then you get an eight mil bolt, just an Allen, stainless Allen bolt with a kit. And what you do, there's a pipe from the fuel tank, that's the breather bit, and as I said before, it connects to there where it says tank. So all you do, you take the pipe that went to here and you just put the Allen bolt in it, screw it in. You can see it says purge there, you see that goes to the purge valve. That, the other one's just a breather that goes behind the battery. So that's it. If you do that, then, you've, well, I believe you've removed something that can go wrong for a start. Mine obviously wasn't working properly or I've knackered it by overfilling the tank, which I'm not aware of having done. And to me, it just seems silly to have the thing on. And I think it was developed for America, California, I think. And after all, it's a state where you, it's illegal to wear perfume in the street. So, you know, I, I personally am environmentally friendly, you know, and I don't believe that that is going to pollute to any extent at all. If we, if we were all that environmentally friendly, we wouldn't use motorbikes at all, would we? We'd just cycle everywhere. So we're using bikes. We're polluting from tailpipes, you know. And this, to have a, a um, reduce your emissions, allegedly, by having that complicated system, to me, just seems daft. The kit's 21 quid on eBay. 